Hello world, this is Konstantinos and I would like to welcome you back to a new video. In the Android developer circles, interviews, discussions, I have noticed that most people call MVVM an architecture. It's also quite common today to still hear debates about MVVM versus MVP, some people talking about MVI, and while making this video, there is probably a new MV acronym being engineered somewhere in the world. And at the end, they append the word architecture. I will focus on MVVM in this video, since it's now the golden standard in Android, but the same applies for MVP and the others. First things first, what is MVVM? Well, as you probably already know, it stands for Model View View Model, where each of them refers to a specific class or set of classes. Here's a diagram of the typical MVVM structure. We have the view that delegates user action handling to the view model, and very important, subscribes to state changes from the view model. In other words, the view model does not have a direct reference to the view, but uses some observer pattern to notify any listener that is subscribed. This, by the way, is its main difference from MVP. On the other side, view model updates the model and the model informs the view model for changes. If you notice, everything on the right side is clear. We know what is a view. It's our fragment activity or composable. Then the view model, we also know it's the class that extends the Android view model class. We usually call it something view model to identify it easily. However, on the left side, we see the model and this is not straightforward at all. If we research about model, we will get information like model is the application state, the data structures, the business rules. The problem here is that all these are not one class, not one responsibility, sometimes not even one module. We're talking about the most important part of our, of our application and we simply call it model when talking about MVVM. Moreover, when researching about Android architecture, we get this official documentation from Google. In a previous video, I analyzed the different architectural approaches in detail. Video link is in the description, right below the like button. For now, let's follow Google's architecture. As we can see, this is a different diagram now. Instead of view, we now get presentation layer. This sounds like a much more generic term. Then domain, then data. This splits the app in layers and each one can contain the different responsibilities. You see an application has networking, persistence, cache, deserialization, business logic, navigation, entities, analytics, notifications, just to name a few responsibilities. So networking would be in data layer in this case, along with persistence and cache, business logic would be in domain layer, and so on. The full diagram of an architecture can also look like this. This is the infamous clean architecture by Uncle Bob. It's very generic. But that is the point of architecture. Every app has its own. This is just a blueprint that serves as a high level guide, but not a dogmatic presentation of our app. So where does that leave MVVM? Back to our architectural diagram, MVVM is here inside UI layer. It's just a way to structure and design this outermost layer of our app. Look how insignificant it seems to be when considering how huge an application can be. For small proof-of-concept apps, sure, MVVM could potentially cover most of what you need. Throw the business logic in the view model, use the model for simple data handling, and call it a day. But in a POC, let's be real, any type of structure would work as long as you avoid having a good activity or fragment. MVVM is not an architecture. It is a presentation layer design pattern. Its difference with MVP and other MV patterns is just in the way those UI components are depending on each other. And we can argue that all of them achieve the same, pur the same purpose. Sure, MVVM really helps with decoupling the view from the view model. It helps with state management. I will not deny that. It really seems like a solid way to structure a presentation layer. But remember, our application is so much more and focusing on the rest of the responsibilities, how to abstract navigation, analytics, networking, all those beautiful things is where the real engineering and architecting begins. Don't tunnel vision into presentation layer. Understand that there is no silver lining when it comes to architecture. Each application has its own. Understand the dependencies and how to control them. This is how the architect inside us comes alive. Then take a step back and next time you hear people discussing about MVVM or MVP, remind them that by wasting too much time on this, we are missing out on all the real fun. 
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you around.